I woke up from a dream, stepped into a nightmare. <laughs> Just before I fell asleep, a partner asked, she asked me could I live another ten years. I looked at her, and I said back, I can plan on me dead at last, but I know, I know, I do not know, I know, I do not know, a man that's lived forever. <laughs> I don't know anybody that's happened to I began to think about the wasted time I guess we all have that those, that those that those days have happened to us. <laughs> and I wondered why that happened so. All I could do was apologize to God for wasting what he had given me to drive. He gave me this thing to mess around town, to walk from here and there. Now I can barely get here. Oh, there. I guess I got to try harder in the remaining time. I do have a. Will it just be a day or maybe ten or maybe another thirty years? Really, that depends. And does it really matter? Does it really matter when it turn light? Well, it's on the other side. You know I'd like, I really like to believe that that something happens to us on the cross of life. What happens to every, everything that was? I hope, hope that, that there is an ear. <laughs> I hope there really is an ear. Man, it's just a little too much sometimes to think about being here and being gone. But you know what? None of us have been at the joint. We all just got to live within its, what's its fancy word, parameters. But one thing for sure, one thing for sure. <laughs> Whether we live in a nightmare or whether we live in peace, 
Son mot de paysan au-dessus. If you wanna be kinda happy, we got to turn it to on. If we wanna be sad, then that's gonna be gonna be the way it is. As simple as it sounds. I'm sad because this harmonica's clogging up on me, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you know it's not just as simple as that. If you need help, man. Get it. I take antidepressants, and I'm proud to say I do. Now, I haven't taken them in the last couple of days, and it's screwing me, because I've just been lazy about my medicine. If you take weed, we have a, we, we can buy weed here in Oregon that's legal. The same thing, you know, we, people spend time in prison for. Well, we can get it right down the street. I mean, you know, but I was used to that in Holland when I lived there. I'm saying it's a choice. Do something about it. If you got problems and you got depressions and you got heavy anxieties, search for an answer because it's no way to. There's whatever time any of us have left. It's no. It's no way to live if you got these problems, these mental health issues, or for real, people really have them. I mean, I. It's not like you know you can say, oh, well, he's a. You know, he, he's okay because he doesn't have to take any drugs. To, he just manages to, to work and live his life and support his family and, you know, get on. We don't know what people do behind wherever they live. You know, for me, drugs was an answer. Heroin was my answer. But heroin, the problem with heroin is, aside from it being so trashy, the way it leaves the stuff that I was getting, which caused heavy side effects in my legs and things like that. It's caused me big trouble. Um, it's just not, I mean, yeah, there's the pure version, there's the gelada, there's the other stuff, but most doctors aren't going to prescribe that because, you know, they're going to just going to strung, you're going to get strung out on the stuff unless you get a, you know, a massive physical problem. And being strung out on that stuff is no good either. But there are other drugs. There are other things you can take. There's, there's, you know, there's, there's total uh, natural things you can do, but whatever it is, if you're having, I, I woke up, for instance, just th this morning or this afternoon or whatever it was, I didn't sleep last night, and I, um, I woke up, I, just like, wow, man, you know, in a few years, I'm gonna die, because Rosalia, she asked me, she says, well, can you live another 10 years, and I said, well, uh, I, I hope I can. I mean, and many years ago in Virginia, the Ouija board said I lived to be 96 or 97 when I played it when I was 12 years old. Well, I've heard Ouija boards are dark magic. I don't know. We were kids and just played it and said what it said. I have no idea what's true or not. The only thing that I do know is, is, that, is that I have a choice, and we all do, those that have meds and those that need them. Either we take the things to help us survive, and live a good life, or we choose not to take them because it's kind of a drag to take all these pills, and and um, and we just let it go, and then we get these anxiety attacks and things like that. So as soon as I I wanted to purposely though before I took any medicine, after I had this this problem, I wanted to pick up this harmonica, and just see if that made some difference. And yeah, it really did. So those of us that are lucky enough to have an instrument to play, and those of us that are considering it, go for it, man. Get an instrument, and if you do it, if you have one and you are playing, play, play, play. And so I'll take my, my the drugs I'm supposed to take, my own medicine that I'm supposed to take. I will do it finally. But there's no drug I'm beginning to find, you realize, that's stronger than picking up a harmonica or a guitar or sitting at the piano or whatever or the ukulele or the bass drums or the bass or whatever the hell instrument you find you want to play because 
music is truly a, a healer. And um, that's what I, uh, so that's all I can say about it is that it was pretty cool. Instead of taking this thing, where is it here? This is called buprenorphine. It's a little tab I take underneath my tongue. It's just got a narcotic blocker. So I have to say, I was cleaning out the drawer the other day, and um, and mostly I really find some stuff, and um, and I found a bottle of what they said was oxycodone, and I immediately got this like, whoa, oxycodone, forty five tablets, five milligrams, and all I could think of was, well, first of all, I realized later it wasn't oxycodone, it was aspirin, but before that, um. I got that old junky feeling, you know, and if I, and then I remembered, well, I'm, I have an opiate blocker, I can't take it anyway, I'll get sick, sick, sick with it, and anyway, I thought, I don't want it anyway, I don't want it anyway, I'm stronger than that, now, had I not had the opiate blocker, had it been for real, I don't know, I hope I can say I could have walked away from it, because I added it all to my mind, and the reality of what it would be, how many talents it would take to get high, how many days it would, it would, it would last before, and um, aside from it being a chemical kind of a thing, more than a natural thing like heroin, which is still got stuff in it, but not as much, um, it's, you know, it's, it's still something like, like narcotics, so um, I just, um, just drop that on my gut. So, excuse me. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is a big thing. It's not more than something. That is not kind of heavy narcotics. Nothing not like oxycontin or something, which I never used. But um, I guess what I'm trying to say is is that I added it all up. And had I even not been on this opiate blocker, and had they really been for real oxycodones, I wouldn't have taken the motherfuckers. Because, you know, it just would have been straight up misery. You know, you take them, take them, take them for 10 or 12 days, and you feel, and first of all, the first couple of days, you know, all you're taking them for is to feel like you did the other day, and you're not going to feel like it because the tolerance is already starting to set in. So, if you get the right drugs, the right things, that's cool. But then you can take the wrong drugs, and then it ain't so cool. So, it's a balance. And... It's up to us to decide what we want. I mean, do we want to self-medicate ourselves and and avoid going to a doctor or a naturopath or something like that? Do we want to think that we can just do it ourselves because just getting stoned or just getting high or just shooting dope or, or snorting dope or, or smoking heroin, chasing the dragon? I mean, is that what we want? You know, is that will that be enough for us? Will that really help us in the days ahead? I, I don't. So I don't tend to believe that they that it will after my experiences with it and we all are going to certainly die and the only thing that that and and there's a, hopefully there's a there's a life after this one I mean you ask dirty Pat he'll tell you there is for sure if you ask me I believe in something but I don't know if it's going to be like a god that looks like Captain Kangaroo in clouds that's an old TV show we used to watch in the early 60s. The guy had blonde, big thick blonde hair and a mustache, and he had his button-down jacket, and he looked kind of like a circus master, and he, and um, Captain Kangaroo. And that's what I thought God looked like when I was a kid, Captain Kangaroo. So, I don't know if Captain Kangaroo is the head of the group, but head of the whole show, but... I do know <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. Oh, well. Anyway, um, I know that there are things you can do that can make you feel good. Straight up playing music and doing just like something as simple as... <laughs> or those that can't, that aren't, that don't play it. Maybe that advance can go.
See, that's just all between the fourth and the seventh notes. Music is the great healer, but aside from that, if you have these problems, go somewhere and get help for real. It wasn't. It was finally when I decided that I had enough self-medication and my too many abscesses, too many overdoses, too many close calls with the cops that could have led to prison time, too much, you know, hepatitis B, pneumonia, I mean, um, just abscesses. You know, you finally reach a point where you say, wait a minute, I gotta do something about this, or I'm just gonna, I may as well be dead, wherever you go afterwards. If, I'll tell you one thing, if you want to dead like that, you might just have yourself a long conversation with the dude that is in charge of the joint, because if we really waste our lives like that, it's kind of sad. I know we can't help it sometimes, but we can try. Try to do better for us. Try to do better for all those around us and all those that depend on us. Have a good evening, have a good night, have a good morning. And I hope it's daylight wherever you're at. Bye-bye, you guys.